Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. This is South Nintendo Park, aka James, aka the boss. And I'm just here in the overworld, um, telling you that a lot of stuff happened in between the last recording session. Well, I got the capture holder, capture card, as you know, if you've seen my Majora's Mask videos, but who watches those anyway, you know? Um, I had to turn it off because there's a little interruption. And it, you know, I had to save it though, but it's like, but everything is back at normal. I'm back at five lives. All my time has been wasted, you know. And I mean, I literally, literally tried to actually get it back to where it was. I got it at 32 lives, um, 50 star points or star gold points, whatever they're called, um, and 69 coins. I know, like, the points was like 345,000 or something. But I had it at like, I mean, I mean, I really didn't care, you know, and it's like, if anybody did notice, I would explain, I would totally just go all out and explain, but, I just did a recording session before dinner, and it turned out horrible, like, really bad, so, I mean, now I just had dinner, and I think it's gonna be a little bit better. Let me turn it up, I'm always thinking it's gonna be, like, cause the Wii menu screen is, like, pretty loud. And then all of a sudden it gets like just really quiet. So it was right here when I paused. And um, well, it's over here about to the spring. You gotta get up, and because this this is Morton's castle, I think. Yeah, Morton's castle. I'm just joking. I know it's Morton's castle. I'm just trying to act like I I haven't done this time. I haven't done this take for about 50 times in a row. So this is not my 50th time, so I don't count here You know. Because that, that would just be weird. But if you're wondering what I've been doing this whole time, I, uh... Actually, I've been writing a book. Yeah. I was writing a book called... The Diary of Anne Frank. Uh, that, is, that is still kind of loud, though. And it's about this girl finds a magic stick, right? And, uh, what happens? Shoot, I'm dead, I'm dead, get them all, got it. Oh, we got him, we're good, okay. So, it's about this girl who finds a magic stick. And then, what happens? And she calls it the magic stick, but it turns out it is really magical. And it follows her around wherever she goes. But the thing is, it, uh, it, like, pokes people wherever it goes. And, because it's really pointy. And so, the whole conflict is, um, she has to tame it, so then it won't do that. So it'll use it for good and not for bad. And if she doesn't do it within three days, uh, she gets gassed. Um, and the ending happens that she gets gassed. That's what I've been doing. It's, it's only about like, it's more like, it's not really a no novel, it's more like a novella. But I've been working on it for quite a while. I've been trying to make it as offensive as possible, so... If you, if you guys could just hold back on the hate for me being racist, that would be appreciated. Oh, I just lost Yoshi. Shoot. Yeah, this game's been giving me. Oh, there's Yoshi. Here you go. Never ceases to amaze me. Right? Oh, he's probably dead. Oh well. So I'm, I might put a little intro in the beginning telling you if this, this might be offensive, because it kind of is. If you're offended by it, please let me know in a comment below. And it wouldn't really matter because nobody comments on my videos anyway. So I, I guess it's just kind of like a sick humor thing. Like, you know, I've been watching a lot of Whitest Kids You Know recently. So that kind of influences my humor a little bit. This is 
a really long level. Yeah. Jeez. It's uh, gone on for a little bit. We're only at the halfway point. We got these spiky guys. And like they're like the buzz beetles, but like they're like spiky buzz beetles. So they're even like ten times more annoying than the normal buzz beetles. That's really annoying. Then you got your uh you got your piranha plants that fly out, and you got your Koopas. It's quite a long level, you know. Mm. I mean this is two dash one, right? Yeah, it is. No, three dash one. Three. This is the third level. I almost forgot. Oh wow, that's weird how one of them's like that. The other one isn't. So I think that arrow signifies that we're at the final level. Oh, I, I wish we would have some start bonus points, but we didn't. Oh well. <coughs> oh. So, hope you guys liked my Majora's Mask thing. I did it all by myself. It it took a really long time. Uh, I'm not kidding about that. That took a really long time to uh, just get all of the parts in to really to really do that and just you know, get it good. I, I mean, and that wasn't even really that good. Like, I mean, it's only like an 11 second held note at the end, which at first like that doesn't sound like that long. Which to be honest, it actually kind of isn't if you do it normally. But if you're singing an entire song like that beforehand, right before doing it. It's like you want to get the song perfect and you want to get the note perfect. It's you know, it's just it's just it's tough. So it took a little bit of work around the whole thing. But um, you know, I had just a lot of tries just sitting at it, listening to the Mario Paint song while um while doing the recording. So I'm just gonna get the secret right now because it's a lot easier to do that. So it's right here. And you're gonna go down here. That's where the secret is. First, you wanna go up because the key is over here. But then it's actually better, in my opinion, if you go to the right and just do it this way because so you don't have, you can avoid all the enemies basically. All those fish. Those fish have caused me a lot of trouble. And you get to the Red Switch Palace. Okay, so um, Majora's Mask saying yeah, it was just me. Thank you. We'll just go ahead and jump over all these guys. Just, I don't know, they always have this stupid mini game for each switch, and it's just like, why do I need to do this? You know? It's like the first one was okay, and then all the other ones are just like stupid. But now we got the red switch, and um, let me see. Well, I was talking about the Majora's Mask thing. Yeah, like when I was I was trying to breathe in, you know, like. Like, 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 right after I'd, you know, like, please heal my soul. And it was really all coincidental that I, like, kept it, like, if you saw the original footage, it was just all coincidental. I just made it work, basically. I made it work, and I was really good at it, I think. And I think I did a good job. I don't know. That's just me. At least I had a good background, right? You know? Jeez, that was scary. No, I didn't want that, and I... Maybe uh, we'll get a flower from this guy. We'll just... Okay. There you go. Oh, any respawns, just in case you need to hit that block again, even though you already hit it. Yeah, it's pretty basic. The secret, it's just like, wow. That was, that was so hidden. I had no idea that that's how it was going to be. It turned out it was that way. So now that's gonna be a little bit something interesting, okay? It's something that that is that's never been done before. It's pretty much the most insane thing you're ever gonna see in your life. You know how that first ghost house had a secret, and it's like, oh, but you couldn't tell because it's like you couldn't, you know, it's not like the level was a normal level and had it showed that it was red or it was yellow to show that if it had a secret or if it didn't. You know, you just couldn't tell. Yeah, I, I'm stupid with that. That. Let's get out of here. If you want to do that, you should have your speed all the way up, basically. If you want to do that, legitly make it over. Anyway, a lot of interruptions in this video, if, you, if you've been noticing. Maybe you didn't notice, maybe you didn't catch it at first, I don't know. I sure didn't. <laughs> anyway, um, 
So here's a secret. You know how that, that makes a blue door appear just randomly anywhere? It's like, so what if there could be another blue door randomly anywhere? Well, it's up here. Oh my god, what is this? Well, apparently a boss fight. It's like, that's weird. That's never... It's like, normally it's just a secret exit. Now I have to fight a boss? And it's like, yeah, you do. What you say? It's, it's like King Boo. You just, the best way is just hold up and then let go. But after a while, you could actually lose those little, you know, circular... No, no, not, they're not circular. They're, uh, they're squares. You could actually, like, lose them if you're just holding them on for so long. You fight the boss, you get the secret exit, and it's a pretty amazing extra little thing that you get. So you think, oh my god, there's only seven worlds, this is such a short game. Well, no, there's actually another world out there. And it's called the Star Road. Yes, the Star Road. Wow, I mean, this place is packed with secrets. Only five worlds, because there are only five, you know, places where you can go to. The first, you know, you know, there is a secret, yes, but, like, every time you do it, the secret will be harder and harder. Like, first, it actually does kind of start out pretty easy, but then it's just going to get harder and harder, basically, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this, I mean, if you really do try to get a lot of the stuff that's here, you can, like, really waste your time. Like, you, you can really... Like, they don't give you so much time to just, you know, have fun, because that's what Mario's all about, right? Not having fun. Aw, oh, man, so many Koopas. Really wish I would've gotten that. Not. Huh. <laughs> to be honest, I just kind of want to end the level right now. It's like, why do I need to go through this? Finally. Jesus Christ. Mm. Saying something, but now I forget. Oh, 24? Normally I get 26. Oh well. You know. And it's like, if you're Big Mario, to be honest, it's like, it's really easy to hit it. But, um. Yeah. It's really easy to hit it. But it's just that, um. You know, it depends where that thing is at. Like, like you could, you know, it, you know, you could be in one spot, and if you're, especially if you're Big Mario, I mean, if you got at the highest point where it could have possibly been when you were at that spot, you know, it could be a difference of like, like four points. I'm guessing. I don't know. It's just a guess. But there you go. So we just got access to the Star Road, and once you get access to the Star Road, you see some more Star stuff happening. So. That this is also this is a secret level that has a secret in it. Yeah. Pretty trippy, right? It's like wow. It's like world session. Inception. Inception. Yeah, like like you know, inception. Like a game within a game. It's like a secret within a secret. Yeah. I mean to be honest, it's not really that confusing. Oh, we need the cape, don't we? We do. I think there's a cape thing up here, so we should be able to get it. We should be fine, like right here. Cape. Yeah. For this secret, normally you'd have to have the blue switch, which is actually in World 5, believe it or not. I mean, I guess? I mean, because that's what that's... Yeah, I guess maybe one of them's like a vine or something. But to be honest, you have enough space, just run up there and just, you know, like, why the hell would you waste your time with that? Really? Like, would you really want to do that? Because I want Ah! Thank God. Oh, and we get 25. What a lucky number. So now we have 49. Grid math. Because I'm good at math. Huh. Get it, because I'm not. <sighs> so now we got the Star Road 2. Dose. And I am going to complete this level. And I'm going to go back and get the secret for the second level. That's how you can actually make this game a lot faster, actually. You know, we're using the Star Road and stuff. You know, for speed run of this, it's like usually 10 minutes. They just get up to the Star Road, and then they, you know, and then they just kind of like go through all of them until they get to the last one. Ah, oh, I just missed it. At least we got the Fire Flower. Oh, okay, we don't have the Fire Flower anymore. Um, just gonna have to run, basically, and not get hit. Oh, they, they went up there. They're, you know, they're gone. But then there are these guys. Stay low, stay low, stay low. Okay. okay, we're safe, we're safe. We got to the pipe, we're at the end of the level, we're safe. Whew. It's close. 
Isn't that creative? Because it was water level, so they put water right before the... Yeah, that's creative. Oh, 69. 69 star points. 69. Jeez, man, that's funny. That's some funny shit right there, man. That's funny stuff. Mmm. Mmm. That's weird. I think I'm gonna go ahead and complete this one. Just do it the, do, do the normal exit. And then, oh, I guess not. <laughs> We're dead. We just died. I didn't even, I didn't even get one one up in this level. It's really weird. In this, this whole session. Not one single extra life. Not one, one extra man, you know? What's up here? Now you can go different places, but really, it's like, why would you do that? Oh, that was pretty sweet. I got both of them, I guess. It's like, that's, that's never been done before. It's never happened. If it has, that was probably the second time that's happened. If you think about it, you know. Um. So we still have 69 star points. Or whatever you want to call them. Ah, uh, I just, it wasn't time with the jumps, with Mario's jumps. See, it's just not timed right. There, I see, that was more timed right. I guess I got another spring there. And I, was, I kept thinking, like, oh, maybe I should use the spring. But yeah, it's just like, just get the cape. And, like, I mean, and they even have that. It's just like, why? Why do they have that pipe there? There's no reason for it. So that's the end of the level. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I sure didn't. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot lately. I'm sorry about that. Um, goodbye.